everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna do my february favorites and a mini february haul there's more haul stuff than favorites so i'm gonna do the haul first there's a few clothing items in the haul but why does my mum always walk past and shout whenever i'm filming all right there is more favorite now i'm confused on myself there is more products in the haul than there is in the favourites so I'm going to get on and do the haul first so okay right the first thing that I picked up was this palette it is the Bella Piera is that how you say it everything will be down below so if I forget to say like shades of products or can't say the name right they'll be down below yeah it's the contour and highlight pro palette can't wait to check this out it was £32. I didn't get for £32, I got for less. Because it's in the clearance. But I think it's normally £32. So yeah, I picked this one up. Um, I also picked up, I put it in my favourites category rather than the haul, but no, it's not a favourite. It is this Too Faced, is it called No Filter? No filter selfie powders, it's just, I don't know why I picked it up to be honest. If anyone's got this, can you tell me how to use it? Because I'm a bit confused. Right, it's just the yellow, brown and purple. Like in this. Um, I'm not sure how much that was, again. Clearance. Um, right, then I picked up the Stilla Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss. Right, I did a little swatch because I'm sort of refilming because the other one went shit. Okay, right, can we just take a moment to like look at my dodgy swat? Swat? Swatch? Like, that is like a blood red. Then in here, that looks brown. Brown. How are those the same things? I do not understand. But this is in the shade Marlot Vinyl. And I've never actually worn this, so I can't wait to try it out. I also picked up another lipstick, it's the one that I wore in my last video. All, like my last video is always linked in my new video, so in this video, my last video will be linked. So you can see my review on this. It's the L'Oreal, is it extra nude? It doesn't say the name of the lipstick, but it's in the shade 703, which is a caramel solo. So I picked that up as well. Okay, there's two more things in, two more makeup items in my haul. Like I said, it is a small haul. Right, these are the Bare Mineral Drops It. I swear that's what I always do. I always drop it and one day I'm going to break it and cry. Right, this is the Bare Minerals. It's like not called, it's an eyeshadow, but it's, I think it's a loose eyeshadow. But it's not called that, unfortunately. They should have called it loose eyeshadow because that's what it is. Um, this one is in the shade Skyline and the other one is in the shade Snow. I've tried Snow and I really like it for like in the corner thing and brow bone. I did use this one as well in my last video. So check it out again. They're just like, you can't really see it. But like this one's more like brown with like purple hints. And then this one's white with like gold reflex can't say this one because I've never tried it but snow is really pretty dropped it again really pretty and yeah from my impressions of snow I think this is going to be really good that can't be all my make I didn't even realize how quickly like that went right clothes in my haul never worn these before but they are gorgeous can we just take a moment to appreciate these trainers? Right, they probably look really shit, but in real life, like my thumbnail thing is literally gonna be me like worshiping these trainers. They are gorgeous. They're like a khaki green. I got them from Peacocks for 14 pounds and I've had my eye on them for a while and I've been going in and every single time they've never had my size. Then they did their last time and I was like, I'm getting these. I was planning to get some new foundations but no, the plans change as soon as this came in stock in my size. They're just, I don't really know how to explain trainers, but they're like that velvet and then that like padding material. 
haven't even tried them on to see if they fit yet, but they should because they're size 6 and size 6 normally fit. So, otherwise, they still got the label on, I can take them back, but I'm I'm keeping these. Whether they fit or not, I'm, I'm getting another size if they don't fit, but they, they should be fine. Okay, I've also got this jacket from Primark. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it because... Mm, like last time in my clothing haul, I was literally going like that and it covers up the whole of the screen. So I might put like a photo over here, there, or like just in general on the screen. That lip gloss is actually really sticky. It's not like a liquid lipstick. I'm just going to wipe it off because I don't want it to transfer on my jacket and then I'm going to be walking around. That's left like a purple, like it's stained, so I guess that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Should I do a tutorial with it? I reckon it's going to be good. Which way round is it now? Alright, I zipped it up so it's easier, but I'll still like put a clip in maybe. Just got the zips either side with like pockets. Like I said, you have no idea what I'm on about. It's basically just a black bomber jacket from Primark in a sale, 16 to 10 pounds. Not that 16 was expensive anyway, but I'm not complaining if I'm gonna get money off. So, logic. Okay, that is surprisingly all my haul. I'm quite happy that I didn't spend lots, but I also wish I had more. My addiction for makeup is unreal. Okay, right. In my favourites, not a lot, but it's a few more than what is in my haul. Okay, this is reappearing. I've been using this all since I've got it. I've been obsessed. This was also in my last video so you can check that out just in the description like right this mirror really pisses me off right we've got it's a bit like the Anastasia 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 I just say ABH Beverly Hills it's like that I don't have that problem if I say ABH I don't have to say Anastasia Anastasia I don't know so ABH contour palette like you've got your Top, like your highlighty ones, then your bronzer. This contour shade is amazing, and this is my new favorite bronzer shade. These colors do not go patchy, they blend so well. And this month, since I've got it, I've been using it daily. Yes, daily. Okay, right, face more face products. Um, first one is this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless for normal to oily skin. Um, I do like the Maybelline Fit Me, the original one, but this one is really good for my oily skin. Right, this foundation I got on, I've just came back from school, so it's post-school foundation. And I've tried powdering my face to make it look less oily, but like, you can still, like, it still comes through. But with this foundation, I don't even have to re-powder it because it's fine. It lasts all day, it doesn't flash back in photos, so it's good for parties and things like that really like this really recommend it full coverage lasts all day and it's dropped it again thank god it's not glass but yeah it's 5.99 so i can't like just just try it out and i think they do have like a dry skin version but even if you've got like combo skin try this out i really like this okay and then i've also got a another face product but this is like a bb cream because i'm filming at night it's not gonna focus and the quality is really shit and i apologize for that but this is the rimmel bb cream nine in one skin perfecting matte you're not gonna see it i don't even know why i'm like attempting but um i've just been wearing this for like casual days now i've been really unwell and like you know when you want to go to school when you want to go to school, that never happens. When you have to go to school, but you're unwell and you don't want to put on full face, you just want to be in bed. Well, I still do full face, but with this. And it, it just makes, it just feels nice on your skin, you know? And if you're going to work or like a formal meeting, I don't know, I like this and it doesn't go oily as well, which is hard to find because most tinted moisturizers and that would go oily on my skin. That's why I've been like not buying any tinted moisturisers. When I was like year nine, that would be what I was trying to use because foundation is bad for your skin. But I couldn't find any and then I found this. 
and my heart's been with it ever since. So check that one out. More things are falling over. I swear my life is a mess. Right, everybody knows how much I love this next product. Is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've, words cannot describe my love for this. Why have Laura Mercier? Mercier. I'm literally the shittiest person explaining. But why have that one? You've got this. I can't say much. I've never tried it. The other one. Well, I have, but I've never like, owned it. I've only used it like one off, right? If you're at your mate's house and then you're there like using that shit. But yeah. I ain't complaining with this. Use it to bake or just to set your face. Get it. I'm literally like lost for words. I'm literally just like showing you the thing and be like, buy it. But yeah, they are. These products have been what I'm using non stop. Okay, right. Lips. Are these um, NYX? Another word I cannot say. Lingerie. Lingerie. I always say when I'm like using this in a story, I'm always like, how do you say that word? Can somebody please comment how you say it? Because I'm literally stuck. My favourite is in the shade Push Up, but I also like Corset. This isn't Corset, this is Honeymoon. I've got Push Up, Honeymoon, and Corset. Never tried Honeymoon, but I've lost my Corset. When I say lost it, it's somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to pretend that this is corset. It's not, but... So yeah, push up on corset. And then I'll try this one out sometime soon and see if honeymoon is any good. Is it quite depressing that I say this is my last product now? It's a good one. So... This can speak for itself. Like, can we just look at that? Can we just look at that? This is also going to be my fun thumbnail. I'm just going to be like, I live on this. If I could wear this every day, I could. Like, there is not a look like you cannot do this palette. Well, there is a few, but right, you can do sun, like my sunset eye I did with this, my, my last look, my blue one. You could do purple any like anything you could do like a mermaid look you could do red look you could do yellow cut you can do anything basically it's got like this is like the rainbow palette you can do anything and the pigmentation is insane it's like incredible lasts all day like with some like cheaper ones like this isn't really cheap is it it is for eyeshadows for the quality you're getting it's a really good price if you want a new pa like a palette let me just do some swatches. Okay, right, I'm just going to put my finger in random ones, so don't ask for which one's which. Just like... Can we just look at that? Can, especially this one, like, if I transferred them... But they still transfer, so imagine this is your brush. Putting it on your brush, then putting it on your eyes. It's a light green, that's why you can't see it. But that that is there, that is. That is there, it's just the quality and that is a light green. And if I go like that, it's... Yeah. These are... I didn't... I thought I broke it then. I nearly died. If something happened to this, I'd definitely be buy it. My favourite palette, and I love it with all my heart. And if you don't own this, buy it. This is the 35B, but I think all of them are good. This is the only one I got, but like I like a game, like I've used my mate's ones. So, that makes up for it. So, these are my hauls and my favourites of this month. But it's not this month, is it? It's the 1st of March. For last month, for the month of February. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. My social medias are down below. So if I've got a product that I really like, I normally do paste a picture of it. So you can see my other favourites. And yeah, you can just check me out in general. And follow. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Give me a comment. Let me know your favourites so I can buy them. And like, yeah, so I can buy them and test them out. Any looks you want, comment them. And yeah, you can see if we've got any favourites in common. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.